Well, a very warm welcome to Marbach here in this gorgeous Schwäbischer Alp in Germany. We're here for what is a very big competition in Germany, and I tell you what, the field for this weekend is very strong. It feels a lot of the riders who will be going to the Olympic Games, and certainly for Germany, Michael Jung, the world champion, we're here by his podium. He's, of course, won Le Moulin last year. He won Kentucky two years ago and he'll go straight out to uh, the Olympics in London. And Michael's running Sam this weekend. Along with Michael and in his team from uh, Le Moulin are Sandra Ofart and Opgun Luvo. She was second there, won the silver, and she's giving her great chestnut a first run here in Marbach of the season before Stregom and then Arken. Also, Andrew Stoboski, he's got Butz Evelyn, who won Buccalo, and FRH Fantasia, who was second at Badminton, also all running here. We're going to have a wonderful competition. This setting is absolutely glorious. The weather is brilliant, which, as you'll all know, Chatsworth was rained out, so this is a really important run. The Germans are going to have a big advantage over the Brits in getting their horses really fit because the terrain here as you can see is hilly just like the Greenwich Park for the Olympics. We've got a very big field in the three star, 60 or so horses. The one star as well has got hundreds of horses to run and also the ponies in the Alpen Cup will be performing this weekend here at Marbach. We're going to give you some impressions from day one which was the first day of dressage from this glorious competition. looking forward to cross country day on Saturday. We're starting at 7.30 in the morning and running about 12 hours till seven at night. It's gonna be a marathon. The three star on the hilly terrain is a real tough test for Gert Heiber, the course design here at Marbach. And we're now gonna go and talk to Gert as some of the fences he thinks on the three star will pose the best in the business, the most difficulty. Well, I'm here at Marbach with the course designer for the three star, Gert Heiber. Gert, we're at fences eight, nine, and 10. This is a curved line to the right. They're all offset, they're not straight. It looks quite a difficult question to me. What's your thinking behind this complex? Yes, it's the first test of this uh, course, the first real three-star test, and uh, it needs a, pr a pretty good ridden horse, uh, which is um, going in line, straight on, uh, attacking the angle. Yeah. And. Um, the last element is a curve, is um, with the curve, has to be jumped uh, as a narrow fence, yes, which, is, which needs also uh, quite uh, a good line. Good line, yes. And you're asking them to jump at quite an acute angle? Yes. Throughout the whole complex? Yes. Yeah. The first two elements. And you've got Michael Young's podium in the middle, the world champion. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the road to London? Uh, yes, the road to London, yes. Okay. Interesting yes, fence, Gert. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm now with Gert Hyber at the water complex. Gert, 19A, B, and then a tight turn to 20. Gert, it's quite a big jump into the water, and then you've got a skinny question. There's no alternative, so it's quite a tough line. Yes, and uh, one thing is the approach um, with the slope up to uh, up to the water complex, and the horses see the water complex, uh, the water in the after the fence very very late yeah and um, that's the first question and then they have to find the balance in the water yeah to uh, to the skinny to find the skinny second element but it's quite a nice water it's big but it curves so it draws the horses in yes yes it's that's the uh, idea. it's it's not a question of refusals it's uh, the question is to find the balance in the water. In the water. Yes. And then after they've jumped that skinny, they can yes. have a, a short breather, yeah. but then it's a very tight turn to 20. So yes. they haven't got a lot yes. of time. Yes. They've yes. got to, yes. again, regroup quickly. 
I think that's uh, not a real problem for the three-star horses, uh, the turn and the last element of this complex. Uh, but it's 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 just a, uh, an end of the complex. Okay, just a nice feeling to get them home. Yes. yes. Another, another good question, Gert. Another, yes. Yeah, thank you. I'm here now with Gert Hybert, the last real question, Gert, on your course. 21 A and B and 22 the owl hole. Another curved line. It's the last real question on your course. This is a very big wide fence, but it's narrow. Just talk us through this complex. Yes, um, I want uh, to have a, a last test for the horses with uh, three fences, uh, with three big jumping fences. Uh, it's not too technical. The first one's maximum. It's, it's a maximum fence and uh, this one uh, looks very, very huge uh, because it's uh, quite narrow and the dimensions are, yes, not maximum but close to. And um, I want to keep the concentration of uh, horse and riders on the fences and not on the finish line. Sure. And um, yes, I think uh, that's a good question for the end of the course. And you've been a little bit kind here, Gert. You've put in a longer route at the second part so they can jump the first, they have to jump the first, but then they can swing around and jump another sort of less huge fence if they want to. Yes, um, it's possible that the, the riders feel that the horses are tired and if they have not a good uh, fence 21A, they can decide to take the longer route. They waste uh, quite a lot of time as well. Yes, of course, of yeah. course. They waste, uh, I think, 12 six seconds okay. minimum yeah. if they take the longer route. So it's just a, an option for them if they are really in, have really in mind to have a the horse, is tired horse or, or, yes. Okay. And Gert, just the last question as we look forward to the cross country on Saturday. The uh, field here in Marbach with Michael Young, Sandra Ofart, um, Andreas Dabowski is very strong and you'd think we'll have Olympic riders for Germany, at least three or four. Have you changed the course at all this year knowing that they need a good run before Greenwich, especially as it's a hilly course? Have you changed, have you with your mind decided to make changes because of the Olympic preparation or the same kind of feel? Not really. Um, it's always, Marbach is always the first uh, test, uh, the first competition for the German riders. With a, they need a good start into the season, they need a, a course which brings confidence to the horses and to the riders and not the last uh, difficulties in the questions. Yeah. Um, they need a good entry in, into the season. Get them confident. And and yes, yes. And that's what we did since years uh, and we have a good, uh, uh, good feeling. Result with the... Good results and a good feeling in, with this uh, concept. Okay, super. Lovely course, and we look forward to seeing you on the cross country. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. Well, welcome to Marbach for Eventing TV. We finished the second day of competition, and the dressage is finished now for the three star. And what a result we've had. Some brilliant performances. The standard has been absolutely red hot. The top five are covered just by seven penalties, which is just two show jumps in the final show jumping. And it's a fascinating leaderboard. Kenki Sato with Chipier, the horse he rode the World Games, they lined fifth, did a super test for 36.9. Michael Jung has been on fire here in Marbach, as ever, the world champion. He's got two in the top five, and it's Halunka who lies in fourth, his first three star, and Michael did a brilliant test for 34.8. The top three are full of stars, as you'd expect. Sandra Ofart, with the horse that was silver medalist in the Lamoulin Europeans, Opgun Luvo, is lying third, did a beautiful test. The top two, they were amazing. Ingrid Klimka, with Tabasco, did a beautiful test with the horse that won Osperton last year in England, and lies second, Ingrid, on 30.9. But it is the world and European champion, Michael Jung, in his Olympic preparation, who did the test of the day with Sam. And he has a 1.8 lead at the top of the leaderboard. So it's the world champion on top here uh, after day two in Marbach. Join us for cross country tomorrow.
we're going to talk to Ingrid Klimke after three super tests in the dressage and find out her feelings on her dressage performance. We're here at Marbach after the dressage has finished for the three star. I'm with Ingrid Klimke. Ingrid, you've had three rides today. We, we know that Tabasco did a lovely test and led for most of the day. Michael Young just did a brilliant test for Sam, the world champion. He's just gone ahead, but you've just done another great test. Well done. I'm very happy with my horses, especially with the first one, Parmenides. He was so quiet until the applause came. And then he showed us that he can do one-time changes. But he recovered afterwards and the other two were really nice. Tabasco is stunning. He won Ospita last year, yeah. the, uh, the two-star in England. And he did a beautiful test earlier. He I must really look happy. There was, I'm very there was nothing happy. to fault in there. No, I really look forward for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, and your last horse, it's first three-star. Yeah. You said he was a little bit edgy in the warm-up. Yeah, he was, uh, he was very um, funny, so the other competition, she really blew up. So this time I relaxed her totally, came very late, so she wasn't even sweating, so she was very relaxed and I was very happy. And Inga, we're still waiting for your score with your last horse. What's your feeling on where it will be compared to Tabasco? Uh, Tabasco was better, okay. I think, because he is already more mature and I know him much more, much better with her. I did some compromises. I know she can trot much better in the medium and extended trot, but I was happy that she was quiet. So now I know she's quiet, next time I can go for it more. And I felt Tabasco was better. And Ingrid, obviously keen to get back to stable, so just one more quick question. Mm -hmm. um, Verano went superbly, won with the Braxes, well done for mm. that. I was very pleased, especially because he did such a nice jumping round and was really fighting again in the jumping. It was fun, but it was a great competition. Okay, and you must now have some hope for the Olympics. Yeah, we have Lemur in the next, but now he has a little uh, holiday. <laughs> he enjoys his pasture at home. So the rest of the gang who want to um, go in his footprint, they have to work hard now. <laughs> okay, and Ingrid, concentrating on Marbach, um, are you, uh, the cross country tomorrow, what are your thoughts? I think it's lovely because it's really horse friendly built and you have different varieties of narrow ones, two different waters. The hills always cost something, so I know I hope I have canted enough on my hill at home okay. to have the fitness. But I think it's such a wonderful competition, it's worth coming. Well Ingrid, very good luck tomorrow and uh, yeah, try and take down the world champion. Oh I will. <laughs> Thanks very much. Well, a very warm welcome to Marbach here for Eventing TV. I'm Ed Holloway. We had a brilliant day cross country yesterday. The sun is shining today, but yesterday it was so cold on the cross country. But we ran 11 hours of cross country here at Marbach. The CIC three star was really a German preview for the Olympic Games in London because Michael Jung has got three horses in the top six. He had a brilliant day with his uh, trio. Ingrid Klimka also two in the top five with Tabasco and FRH Escada in third and fourth. But it's the top Top two from the European champs in Le Moulin last year that are in the lead after cross country. Mickey Young in front with his world and European champion Sam, just ahead of Sandra Ofart and Opgan Luvo. They took the gold and silver, the Le Moulin Europeans last year, and with show jumping to go, it's Michael Young, La Biosalique Sam, just in front on 29.5, ahead of Sandra Ofart and Opgan Luvo. But it was a brilliant day cross country yesterday. The competition was red hot, and now we'll show you some impressions of the leading competitors at every Free fence on Gert Hyber's wonderful cross country course here at Marbach. Enjoy this, it was great fun.
was an international field here at Marbach. We had riders from all over the world, including Japan. And now we're going to talk to Kenki Sato. He qualified with the Japanese for the Olympic Games in London. And yesterday, Kenki went superbly on the cross country with both Chipie and his other horse. And we'll now talk to Kenki and find out how cross country was here in Marbach for the man from Japan. Well, I'm now with Kenki Sato from Japan. Kenki, you had a brilliant day yesterday with Chipie and Toy Boy. How was the cross country for you? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah jumping was a really good feeling, but a uh, little bit too slow. But uh, this is the uh, beginning of the season. I think, uh, yeah, next competition, yeah, 
much good feeling and a good condition will be. And Kenki, you qualified at Blenheim last year. You beat Australia to get your place in the Olympic Games in London. Yeah. And I read that this was a real highlight for you. Yeah, that was a really good competition, a memorial competition for me. Yeah. And uh, I must concentrate, uh, concentrate training with uh, Michael Yoon. Yeah. So you, tra you train with the world and European champion, Kenki? No, yeah. Every day is really exciting for me because uh, Michael is a really special rider and uh, his family is a really yeah, good family. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. And Kenki, what is the plan now after Mar back before Greenwich in the end of July? What will you? What competitions yeah, will you go to now? I think I be go to the next competition is Stragon. Stragon. Yeah, CIC three star in Poland. Lovely competition. Yeah. Also. Yeah. And do you think you'll ride Chippy or Toy Boy in, in London? Which which is your favourite horse? Yeah, I wanna take uh, with Chippy. Yeah, he's uh, now is ten years old, but he's really quality. I think. Yeah. And Kenki, what, what do you think of the Marbach cross country course? Yeah, here is a really hilly place and up, up and down, up and down. And uh, I think it really make a good condition for the yeah. preparation for Yeah, London. that's right. Yeah. Well, Kenki, great luck in, uh, for London in the Olympic Games. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. We're now going to catch up with Kai Stefan Meyer. Went brilliantly with TSF Karaskada M, did a super dressage. Kai, he rode at both Fontainebleau in 2009 and in the Europeans in Le Moulin last year for Germany. And another one with a real chance of London Olympic selection. We catch up with Kai now. Well, I'm here for Eventing TV in Marbach with Kai Stefan Meyer. Kai, how are you doing? Well, uh, up to now, it was a nearly, or nearly really good week so far and uh, we hope to have a good show jumping today. And Kai, it's almost like a sort of preview for the Olympics. You've ridden at the Le Moulin Europeans and Fontainebleau and you're lying, you went from 13th after dressage. I think you did a, a best dressage with TSF Karaskar M. Yeah, she improved a lot over the winter and so now we get from competition to competition. We got her even better in, in the arena and so she performed really good this weekend. But she's a super jumper, so you've gone from 13th after dressage up into 8th now after cross country. Yeah. And I'm sure quite a difficult show jumping ahead. So, um, she is a good show jumper, but we know that I had a good show jumper even in the morning session in the one star here, and even here at the fall. So, everything can happen and we see. And Kai, Michael Young and Sandra Ophart look set to go to London. Then there's Dirk, Frank Ostol, Andres Dabowski, yourself. What's your feeling for your chance of getting an Olympic place for Greenwich? Oh, well, um, we have a, at the moment we have such a great team in Germany, so... Um, I think what you said, we have uh, a lot of riders who are now in front of me if we make a list. And so, um, yeah, we have to have a look and, and see what happens. Are you hopeful? Well, after this weekend up to now, yes. <laughs> Good. And what's your plan, Kai, after Marbach? So, um, I will take Karaskada to Bremen, CIC, and then we'll, we'll go on to Aachen. So you'll do the CIC three sign Bremen? Yes. And then Aachen? Yeah. Super. Well, good luck, Kai. Well done. Thank, thank you. Well, welcome to Eventing TV here on the last day of Marbach. What a great competition we've enjoyed. The sun has shone today and the competition hasn't changed much to the leaderboard because the top five, and it really is the German all-star cast, all clear in the show jumping and they really are preparing for the Olympic Games very, very strongly. I tell you, the Brits and the Americans and the New Zealanders should be very scared. We'll now show you the impressions of the final show jumping here in Marbach. Enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, the European FST. Sauber Runde in der Zeit. Es bleibt bei seinen 39,6 Punkten mit diesem Pferd. Clear in time and out. So 39 von 6 Punkten mit Leopin FST. Aus Frankreich mit 60,6 Punkten. Cadessia Anglois, aber Stutte, 9-jährig vom Tresor du Renault. Pour la
Ringet Glimke, FH Eskada JS Superhunde in der Zeit. Fehlerfrei, damit bleibt es bei 39,6 Punkten. Vierter Rang. Ingrid Klinke, Tabasco, Fehlerfreier, hinter das in der erlaubten Zeit. Es bleibt bei ihren 32,9 Punkten und vor bis auf Platz 3. Und dann kommen noch zwei Paare. Drei Sterne CC Marbach. Well, see the bed, Ingrid Klinke. Nothing to add with Tabasco. Und nun Sander Auffahrt und Hopke Lugo. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Bleibt auf jeden Fall mindestens zweite 32,7 Punkten. Bleiben stehen also vor Inge Klemke und Tabasco mit 32,9. Und nun. Well, Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Michel Jung und Matthias Ludwig Seele für die Sieger. Drei Sterne mit 29,5 Punkten. Well, the world champion, right where he belongs. He is the winner. I'll tell you that. You better give him for the champion. Mickey Young wins with Matthias Ludwig Sam. And he sends out a real warning shot to the rest of the world for the Olympic Games in London. That gold is getting closer and closer. And Sam winning here in Marbach on the brilliant 29.5. The world and European champion ahead of the silver medalist from the winner, Sandra Ofart. That German all-star cast is lining up very nicely indeed for the London Olympics. Mickey Young, the winner, 2012 here in Marbach. Well done, Michael. Well, now we will talk to both Michael Young and Sandra Ofart, the top two here in Marbach, top two in the European champs in Le Moulin as well, and find out their impressions of their week here in Germany. We're here in Marbach for Eventing TV with the top two from the CIC3 star, Sandra Ofart, Michael Young. Starting with Sandra, Sandra, off gun Luvo went superbly. Great clear in the show jumping. How are you feeling? My feeling was very well in all three disciplines. was very good in dressage test and in cross country and show jumping. It's amazing horse. <laughs> but Sandra, this guy keeps beating you. Can you beat him in the Olympic Games? That's the question I want to ask you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, and just sum up your week here. Good preparation. <laughs> yeah, I had a good preparation and the competition was very good and yeah. And now the plan is for Stregorm and then Arc and then London, hopefully. Yeah, that's the plan. Super. Well done, Sandra. Great result. Thank you. Michael, another win. How was Sam? Yeah, fantastic. Was amazing. Yeah. He finished on 29.5. Yeah, unbelievable. And you, you beat her again. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just sum up your preparations now for London, Michael. Great start today. <sighs> yeah, he's in a very, very good form. He was very quiet and I can work with him very good and I have a very good communication. 
Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Every every competition, dressage, cross country, jumping was very good. And Mickey, there's only four riders ever who've had the world and the European title at the same time. Zara Phillips, one of them. Nobody ever has won world's European and Olympic title. How does it feel as a human to have that possibility just a few months away? Don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, One step not, at a time. Not too much work over the, uh, the speak over the Olympics. Okay, just one step at a time. I hope we have, we have fun and the horses is in a very good form and I'm in a very good form and then we start with the dressage and then we will see. I think there's many people uh, who can win the Olympics. Who, who are you worried about for London? Who, who, who is your, your best rival? I don't know. Toddy, William Fox Pitt. Yeah, I say many can win the Olympics. Many many riders can can win every competition. It, it starts with the dressage, and then we will see. And lastly, one word about Marbach, Michael. How how's this week been for you, the competition? I was uh, very good. Uh, very good places in, in the cross country. That's, that's very good for the horses to to get a better condition and. Um, very good round, very good ground in the dressage and in the jumping. It's, it's perfect to work with the horse. Super. Well, guys, thank you very much. Good luck for London Olympics. Signing off from Marbach. Thank you.